Hey, Caleb. What's up? So, you know um, that part in Seven Brides for Seven Brothers? You, have you seen that movie? I haven't even heard of that movie. <laughs> you know who has? <laughs> David. David. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we're we're here to introduce you to another compilation episode focused around David and his old soul. Um, <laughs> he may be thirty, but his soul is a boomer, <laughs> right? Yeah, his, mm-hmm. his soul is definitely like pushing like sixty five. Yeah. He's he's like he's already retired in his soul. Like, like it explains why he's so good in those faith and belief episodes. Like he has the wisdom of an old man. But he's not old. Let's talk about some things he does. Loves to reference old movies. <laughs> Obscure movies. Obscure like. old movies. He loves the dad jokes. Oh, yes, he does. Um, he has a garden. That's nothing. I want a garden. It's nothing bad about gardens, but he has one. Doesn't he make, like, Christmas models? Or oh, yeah. Taylor told us that he's really big on the Christmas, uh, what's it like, the little Christmas villages. All the cute little houses and fake snow. <laughs> I mean, you could also have to appreciate how David only has, like, two items of clothing, Yeah, maybe. that he wears when like, he films. Yeah. But he's the best. So, enjoy the David compilation. <laughs> we're, st- we're talking today about um, what it means to have a soft heart, yeah. right? And we're not talking in an anatomical, medical way. I thought about making like a dad joke like if you have a hard heart go see a doctor because you have issues. <laughs> but um, I couldn't figure out a way to make it actually like funny but that worked so okay great. Um, we always laugh at your dad jokes. Great. Good. Sympathy. Sympathy, yeah. sympathy laughs. I'll take sympathy laughs. Um, I know but that wasn't it, Caleb was he was that wasn't a sympathy laugh. That was a good laugh. That was a... I'm, he meant that one. I'm, I can't tell you what I'm ashamed. I'm <laughs> I've got a little bubble in my throat, and it's making my voice sound a little weird. Let me pop it. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. <laughs> did that really work? Uh, <laughs> I was kidding, but... Let's say it did. <laughs> okay. Um, three young, two-thirds white guys, <laughs> and we're saying that this is good advice. We're not all that much older than than sixteen. I'm a I'm a we're, decade older we're than sixteen. Hip. But the point is, is that it's a, when you grow up, your body starts changing. Oh god! <laughs> and and the chemicals birds and the bees and hormones start coursing through your veins. And you're and just a ticking time bomb for, for uh, you're a ticking time, ticking time bomb, bomb for mistakes for mistakes that that you will regret for. What it comes down to is there's a line. It's the line of chastity. And this counsel from the prophets keeps us far away from that line. And it's good advice. And your parents are right when they tell you to follow this advice. Listen to them. Oh gosh, I'm old. (laughs) And uh, so we're left here with only our wits about us. I got a question for you. You have to do the hand. You're a whippersnapper? I got to, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not oh, propagating that. I don't, that shouldn't be propagated. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Good, good. <laughs> hey, yo, whippersnapper. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you. Oliver Cowdery. And we wanted uh, the youth of the church. Shoot, I say that and I immediately age myself. We want our fellow youths to, um... <laughs> they were just dating. They were just going courting. Yeah. They were courting. Go they... and court. Go and court. <laughs> when if you could seven name brides for seven brides. these movies, bless your beautiful hide, you know? <laughs> so, Massimo. That's, that's oh, is that how you say it? Because in The Wedding Planner with actress Jennifer Lopez. Oh, yeah! There is her boyfriend, oh, Massimo. Okay, earlier he's talking about um, Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> he's like, quick, who's the actor from Harry and the... What? Then he's like, and he was in Daddy's Home too. Nobody saw the first Daddy's Home, and I don't understand the references you're given. Old I've 90s, got no like, idea. Oh, okay. though, those are my. Have life. you seen when the yellow bird flies? No, I haven't seen this movie. I'm losing track of time, guys. But anyways, now that you've brought up John Lithgow, uh, one of the speakers at General Conference, Elder Larry Wilson, looks like John Lithgow, and I think it's so. F- he's hilarious. I love his talk, but. His talk was one of my favorites, um, but 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 what I'm going to reference from his talk wasn't uh, 
all that funny. It was much more spiritual. Um, they let you put a personalized phrase on the back of your tie. Um, so I put on the back of mine. So this is kind of the new format for States and Scripted for a while. Do you have any words to share with our um, viewers? Oh man, do I get a prompt? Do I get a question? No, that's it. No, you that's just it. Have that's to all you get. Wisdom. Okay, I got something for you. I just made this up. This is purely from me. But um, be excellent to each other. And party and on, dudes. How did you know that? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said it. And we all could have said it at the same time. On the count I of three. Ready? On the I count know. of three, you ready? One, two, three. Party, and party on, on, dudes! That was not as cool was as, not I as I thought. So it was not no, unique. Was it was not like in sync. You really can focus on being a happy you, mm -hmm. you know, and an individual. And your studies. <laughs> focus on your <laughs> studies. Dad, stop! Do your homework. <laughs> Dad! We're gonna talk about these hormones again, coursing through <laughs> your veins. Because they're there, and they're coursing. And they're gonna make you want to do things that you shouldn't do. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Those hormones are gonna make you want to date people. Okay, that's just the biology of it. As you guys know, um, David and I, we both served missions for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, it's been a while now. I, I, I served from 2014 to 2016. Really? Well, well, technically, December 2013 to December 2015. That's more recent than I thought. Yeah, Man, really. It was 2010 to 2012. Whoa. I guess that dates me a little you're bit. Old. It's weird because I don't feel like you're that much older than me. Uh-huh. But I don't feel that much older yeah. than you either. That's weird. But you are. The Book of Mormon is another word of God, right? This it is the word of God. Lots of words. A lot of. Okay, Dad. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, old, I can't um, do the I'm so old. No, you're not. David. I have a joke for you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, why do brimmers make horrible cashiers? I don't know. Why do they? Because they're afraid of change. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this compilation of David. I know 11% of our viewers definitely enjoyed it. The 11% that are in the actual boomer range of age. We love you guys. And we, I'm sure you made it this far. Thank we, you. We hope you enjoyed it. Like, I definitely I'm sure we did. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Hopefully you guys cringed as much as we did also. How do you say goodbye in Boomer? <laughs> it's like it's own language. <laughs> Bye! And let's go!